guys, it's Danielle Iwata here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do something different. A lot of us, like me and my family, are at home under quarantine or physical distancing, so we're just home. And I wanted to do something different and share with you day in the life vlog under quarantine in Peru and lots of Zoom meetings. All I wanna do is a zoom, 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 and a boom, boom. Can you finish that song? Am I showing my age? Without further ado, let's go! I'm gonna jump you through to my typical day starting in my morning of teaching and then the rest of the day. So, let's go! <laughs> morning the first thing I do when I get up is drink 34 ounces of lime or lemon water it really helps me to wake up and gets the day started with me drinking a third of the water that I want to drink in the day usually I put in about four lemons or limes but these are pretty old <laughs> limes, so I added in I think about six in the mornings it can be quite cold here so I've been preparing a yerba mate tea made out of the yerba mate herbs that you just put spoons full into the gourd uh, two or three spoonfuls oh, made a mess <laughs> and then you fill the container with boiling water and it just steeps the herbs and then you drink it out of the bombilla which is a slotted straw and it's nice to fill up a thermos for refills later on good morning it is 5 10 and so now i'm just gonna pop into my classroom let's go it is 18 minutes left before the class i make sure my wi-fi is off my connection is ethernet i have here a webcam cover so i'm gonna go ahead and cover it i am gonna go ahead and enter the classroom with my webcam off so this is what it looks like. I'm in, but my camera's off. No students are here yet. And connect my headset. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my headset off so that I'm in the class, but the students aren't hearing me. I have this light and all my sticky notes here. And this light like reflecting against the wall so that creates like a back, back splash of light. I have this overhead light and I will also turn my selfie light on. Five minutes left before my class starts. I take like five minutes to get ready in the morning. This is just like a chapstick because usually I'm gonna wear like a heavy lip and I'm just gonna like wipe it right off as soon as class ends. I have a couple of lipsticks that are way too strong for day-to-day -day life, but I find they really look good on camera. Dun -dun -dun. I find for me it just really helps my face to pop. Um, I just put on in the morning like a serum moisturize it but I don't wear makeup I don't find it makes a difference in the classroom and it's way too early um, my hair miraculously is pretty decent if it's like knotted and gnarly like it usually is I would take this just any kind of scrunchie and kind of pull your hair back like this and just have it behind you but today it's okay so I'll just let it out and these guys they're blue light blocking glasses and help to cover up <laughs> under eye circles and bags. Dun da da. Ready. Oh, we got someone in there already. All right. I am. My name is. I think. I hope is. I don't use much props. This is from Teacher Michelle's. She designed these props. These instruction cards. I have a drag. My monkey. And that's it. Hey, it's showtime. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Andy. How was your holiday? Did you have a good holiday? Then, um, 
right. Good job today. Goodbye. <laughs> Finito. Feedback is just clicking through. Feedback is every third lesson. Not too bad. Pop into my next class and I'll... I will just go ahead and turn my camera cover off. He's already here. 30 seconds. <laughs> Hello, Shinyu. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How was your... Oh, this word? How was your holiday? Holiday. How was your holiday? You got to go outside? <laughs> you got to run outside? Oh! What's really nice about this class with Shin Yu, he's my one student in this class, it's not four, so we get a lot of one-on-one -on -one conversation talk time, which he and I both really enjoy, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Do you? Very good. Good job, Shinyu. High five. High five. Pew. <sighs> Goodbye. I'll see you. Oh, you want to play tic tac toe? Okay, I go first. No, you're cheating. Hi, I'll see you on. See you Saturday. Very good. Goodbye. And we are done. This is a level lesson eight. Again, I don't have to give feedback. Just click through. And now that classes are over, I will connect back to my Wi-Fi. And this piece of sheet metal is how I organize all of my 2D props with magnets and they just pop on there and I can organize it and when class is over, just slide it back behind my desk. Very hungry kitty who's absolutely indignant that I haven't fed her yet. Hi Gigi, good morning. Okay, let's go. Come on, let's go. We're going. Okay, find this. Vamos, vamos. <laughs> okay, you eat, you eat. Hi. Usually for us in the morning, breakfast would be something very quick and simple like oatmeal or cereal. But these days, since we're not going anywhere, I like to experiment and play around with breakfast. Today, we made avocado toast with sautéed mushrooms on the side. our pillow we bought in South Africa. We just love it. But I'm looking for something to go like above our bed. I like very simple, neutral. It's missing something. <laughs> Do you have any ideas? So remember in my video, my coronavirus video, I talked about get up, get productive. Well, <laughs> you win some, you lose some. It is 11.34. And I'm now gonna get out of my pajamas, so let's get dressed makes a world of difference really getting dressed doing your hair changing out of your clothes although like i said it is 11 30 in the morning and i'm now changing out but it kind of helps set, set the tone for my day it can be really hard to find your rhythm getting dressed even not anything fancy just normal clothes but really helps me to try to be productive <laughs> and then there are days that we watch 14 hours of netflix so there's that too so 
I have the skills of a five-year-old when doing my makeup. But this concealer, game changer, it's called Shape Tape. Really seals and makes everything look copacetic, even though it's not. So when I'm home, I don't always do my makeup, but I do have a couple of calls today. And I'm also taking an online course on marketing myself as a teacher and entrepreneur, entrepreneurial ventures. And so I want to look professional for that and <laughs> woken up. So I am making a little bit of an effort today, nothing crazy. Oh, by the way, my eyebrows. Quarantine eyebrows, my eyebrows, naturally, I think they probably grow together. And so I'm not a prissy girl, but the eyebrows, I always usually would regularly get my eyebrows done. And now, send help. It helps a lot to, <laughs> for me, put on perfume scent to really help me change my mindset. So we have all these like sample perfumes that I've been like going through and to see what scents I like. So when we get through this, maybe I'll get some more new perfume scents. Ugh. This one's not so good. Of course, lipstick. Not my <laughs> ESL lipstick, just day-to-day -day lipstick. And voila, it's 11.50. I made the bed. I made myself in <laughs> 20 minutes. So in Peru, we are under super strict quarantine and we're trying to, you know, really adhere to it to help flatten the curve. So my husband is the one who's doing grocery shopping. It's in a fresh market, like farmers style open air markets. So my husband will go about once a week, once every two weeks. And um, I will go to like the supermarket, like the ones that are inside to buy like milks or dairy. Good husband that he is, <laughs> he wants to make sure that I do the safer option. So today he went to the market. It's been about a week or two. We're out of like onion and garlic and just the basics. So he should be coming back soon. When he comes back, it's my, my job starts to disinfect and sanitize everything. Here in Peru, you do have to disinfect the fresh fruits and produce anyway. The bacteria here is different and it can make you sick. But now, especially more so with the coronavirus, we're disinfecting like all surfaces. So let's see. <laughs> I have my chickpeas going in the pressure cooker for our lunch. Oh, it's still pressurized. Okay. Just came back from a grocery run. So this is what we do we spray our shoes. This is our containment area. <laughs> Gracias. All right, so let's see what we got. Oh, ignore the hissing of the pressure cooker. Lettuce. Mushrooms. Oh man, I'm forgetting my English. What are these called? In Spanish are called polantao. Red peppers, some broccoli, onions, cilantro, cauliflower, tomatoes, peas, lemons. I love my lemon water in the morning, or limes, limes, but they call it lemons here. It's good word. Avocados, carrots. Mango, oranges, bananas, peeled garlic, and some pears. Things that we're gonna eat fresh, aside from like banana or the mandarin, because we'll peel it, I will have to disinfect. And then the lettuce, of course, I disinfect, but maybe as I go, as we use it, because if not, it can get kind of grungy. And then generally, veggies that we cook, we'll cook really well or steam it really well so that we don't get sick from it. And one of the nice things about Peru is that all of this food that we're going to eat in the next one to two weeks cost us about a hundred soles. It costs us about a hundred soles, which is the Peruvian money. So if you divide that by three, that's how you get the U.S. dollars. So about 30, 33 U.S. dollars. So that's not bad. I love Chipotle back in the States, but I remember 
because I just want to get to the point of financial freedom where I don't have to think twice when they tell me that guacamole is extra. <laughs> Basically I have avocado for every, with every meal, which I love. It's not too expensive. So now, let's get disinfecting. So this is how we disinfect our fresh produce. You fill a bowl with water. It can even be from the tap because you're gonna put disinfecting drops. And we like to use this, it's called Kilol. What I like about it, it's natural. The disinfectant agent comes from the seed of the grapefruit. So other disinfectants are based from bleach, but I like this one. Leave them soaking for about 10 minutes. Of course, try to flip them if I see like some are out of the water. And now while we wait for those items to disinfect, my sweet husband, even though we're under quarantine, every week when he goes shopping, he always finds a flower vendor and brings me flowers. Let's clean them up a little bit and get them in their vase. No, I need to. Happy Kemper's nice and disinfected. Time for lunch. I just like to spray down all services with rubbing alcohol, just in case, since we are in these times. So I recently switched to a plant-based diet, not for moral reasons, meat is delicious, <laughs> for health reasons. And so for lunch, I'm gonna cook one of my favorites, which is butter chicken, but without the chicken, with chickpeas. It's one of my favorite curries. It's not even really a curry, but one of my favorite meals. So I will link the recipe below and just show you roughly what the ingredients are that I am using. productive in the mornings that's not the case for me that's when I do like my robot tasks that I don't have to think but now I do call help teachers who are interested in teaching online get started so I have a couple of calls scheduled via zoom with them and also catching up on email and then I'm also taking an online course 
and every day we have a task that we have to complete so I'm hoping that after that I can get into that. It's really nice being able to invest in myself and growing myself as not just a teacher but as my business. I'm really enjoying it so far. I have my first call. Let's jump in. Hello. Hi there. Hey, how are you? Oh, it's nice to connect with you like this. <laughs> Take care, bye-bye. Then -bye. <laughs> some emails to do, but before that, y'all. <laughs> you like my quarantine nails? Since I'll be doing my emails, I can let them dry. <laughs> Back to normal. First thing I wanna do when this is over, I would love to buy a gel kit with the UV light. Like, I did my nails two days ago and they're already like half off. Cooking like 52 bajillion times a day and then washing dishes so my nails get chipped super easily. So I really would like to look into maybe a gel kit with like the UV light that lasts for a couple of weeks. So if you guys know of a good recommendation, I'd love to hear it. <laughs> now it's about 2.30 in the afternoon. I'm gonna do some email. I really want to make sure I get my course done today. I'm gonna stop at three and just do it, because if not, it's not gonna happen. Just like working out, which hopefully will happen later. It is 3.11 p.m. and now I'm going to do the unit of my course. I have a unit and a half today that I have to complete and do. go to class. <laughs> All right, so I just finished my module that I had to do for today. It's workout time. I honestly am tired, a little tired. I've been up since five, and I was like this close to bailing, but I always remember that just like I invested in myself taking that online course and my development, exercising is also just as important to invest in myself, my body, take care of it. This situation of quarantine, I just think it's so important to just get moving for your mental and emotional state. So I've looked up a workout I want to do on Pop Sugar. About to see the world in action, what we can be. Like I knew I would be that I did it and I think I'm gonna end this vlog off here and in real talk just being able to talk with you guys about this situation that we have and I wanted to share with you just some things from my heart to you and today I was really thinking a lot about gratitude and gratefulness and how being grateful even in this kind of situation can really change the perspective and I think of a quote by Gandhi where he said, I cried because I had no shoes, and then I met a man with no feet. So it really made me reflect about gratitude and being grateful even in this crazy situation. So much negativity surrounding us, but it really made me think that we can be grateful for anything and everything, even in this small thing. I'm grateful that I got to make a day in the life of vlog that I've never made on my channel and share with you guys some of my life and hopefully something positive. I can be grateful for this time I get to spend in my house with my family, with my husband and grateful for that we have an apartment, that we have somewhere to be together, sheltering in place. I try to be a positive person but it doesn't mean that we don't have any negative thoughts. We just try not to let it control us. And I've had my bad days, really bad days, and it breaks my heart that I have friends who they're having a really hard time with the situation, mentally and emotionally, and I can't do anything about it, or it's out of my control. But I wanted to let you guys know that we can try to see the good and choose to be happy, even in this situation. 
I just wanted to say that also I'm going through it too. We're all going through this, the ups and the downs of these times. We can try to choose to be happy and choose to be positive in the situation and see the good. Empathy is essential in this times and I just wanted to send some positive thoughts and love your way and that we're in this together and I'm rooting for you and I hope you are rooting for me. So, <laughs> now that I've cried, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and have a shower and spend the rest of the night with my family and I wish you guys very happy vibes, positive thoughts, and lots of love. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.